so welcome you all today we will see how to do the slice operation in ansys design modeler so first of all start with the ansys workbench how to properly slice the geometry with respect to the base plane and with respect to the plane which has been generated so that we are going to study in today's session so first of all you can if you are going with the analysis system you can select any one of them uh, we are just preparing the geometry so that's why I'm selecting a component system so first of all click on new design modeler So click on any one of the plane you can see x y and z x is red y is green and z is your blue so first of all creating a geometry say for example cylinder okay before that we'll set the unit first say make it start over select the units say centimeter click on any one of the plane over here then create primitive say for example cylinder so this is a cylinder which has been generated say instead of this z component i will specify 30 over here and we we'll keep the things as it is just to understand how the slice operation can be done so this is one of the geometry which has been there now there are three planes planes x y y z and z x so depending on how you want to cut your geometry accordingly you have to select zx xy and yz plane so first of all i am going for slice operation click on the slice you have to select slice by plane so which one is the base plane based upon how you want to cut your geometry accordingly you can select base plane either it can be zx xy or it can be zy so first of all i will show you with the help of xy plane and we'll see how the geometry will be cut so right now you are not able to see this because the geometry is towards the left so cutting a geometry uh, we say in this case will not be possible by considering the xy plane so now let's move by another plane say for example zx now just click on here now you can see the geometry has been divided into two parts so let's have this one top part and bottom part so when we tried to do xy as the object was not there so that's why we are not able to cut the object along xy now here the object was along zx and that's why we are able to cut the object into two parts now i will just try to show you how you can cut the object in some different direction say for example yz so will it be possible to cut along yz or not we'll just see now in earlier case the object was cut in the horizontal direction now the object was cut in the vertical direction now i'll just slightly change the orientation of the cylinder say for example z component i will specify minus 15 so that it will be at the center of my origin now one more time i will do the slice operation now what we try we'll try with xy plane as a base plane uh, the one which we have tried earlier so make it now you can see the object has been divided into two part now it was possible in this option because we have taken the geometry to the center in the earlier case with where we have tried the geometry was not there on the right hand side it was just on the left hand side and that's why it was not possible to slice the geometry so in this way we can slice the geometry over here so this is one of the example uh, for how to do the slice operation now one more example i will do i uh, will take out with new plane if i create a new plane and then how we can do the slice operation that we are going to see now i will select the base plane say for example uh, as zx make it apply and then just see transform i will say offset z z 
say as specified to you can see the object has been shifted above now I will go for slice operation just check it out plane 4 make it apply and make it generate now you can see object has cut but it is slightly above your XY okay so in this way the object can also be cut which is above your we can say initial reference uh, we can say x y y z or z x plane here we are taken one more plane which is slightly above your uh, we can say z x plane now instead of taking this i will take the base plane something different so earlier i taken base plane as z x just take base plane as y z over here sorry x y over here make it apply over here and just check whether your plane comes you can see the plane has come certainly forward towards left now let's make it generate now one more time click on the plane so in this way we have cut the geometry over here so in this situation we have done this in z direction so in this way we can create a plane and accordingly also you can slice your geometry now again I will change the definition of plane earlier we have taken x y uh, sorry z x then we have taken x y let's take it y z make it apply over here and say offset z so you can see the object has now cut over here in the vertical direction but it is slightly towards right in this way the slice operation can be easily done you can create a new plane and accordingly you can select the base plane and you can do the slice operation 